Today in our 2003 Ford van, we'll be having a look at and installing the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 13053. Now we found that this hitch works great for people that have cargo vans for construction companies or service companies for towing trailers, or if you have a conversion van such as this one, which is meant to carry a lot of passengers, it works great for hauling your cargo in a cargo carrier, towing a trailer, or using a bike rack to get to your destination. Our hitch tucks up nicely against our rear bumper here, making it easy for us to hook up to our trailer. On the side of our hitch, you'll find our industry standard 5 8 of an inch diameter hitch pin hole to secure any of our hitch mounted accessories. Welded onto the bottom of our receiver and the frame of our hitch, we have our plate style safety chain loops. Fairly decent size opening, so we shouldn't have much problem at any hooking up our safety chains from our trailer onto our hitch. We have this nice welded on collar to give us a more finished appearance on our hitch and to reinforce the receiver opening. This hitch features a 500 pound tongue weight rating, which is the amount forcing down, and a 5,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull. It does support the use of weight distribution, and when we're using weight distribution on our trailer, our tongue weight rating increases to 750 pounds, and our max gross trailer weight rating increases to 7,500 pounds. We'll want to consult with the owner's manual of our Ford van and not exceed what the van is rated for. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier, you're looking at about 13 and a quarter inches from the ground to the top of the two inch receiver opening and about two and a half inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. For video purposes, we've already removed our spare tire. You'll need to have it lowered and out of the way in order to get the hitch in place. So if you do have one of these charcoal canisters in the same location above your frame rail here on the driver's side, you will need to temporarily lower it down so you can get your hardware in place. And in order to get that down, we'll find two 13 millimeter nuts on the outside edge of our frame. With those nuts removed, we can grab the canister, pull it out, and we'll just slide it down. These hoses are stiff enough that we can let it hang off of those hoses. Now we're looking at the bottom side of our driver side frame rail. Our passenger side is the exact same. It's just a mirror image of what we're looking at over here. We have several different holes that run across the frame rail. We're gonna be using three holes on each side. This slotted hole here closest to the front we'll use. This slotted hole here right by this cross member we'll use. And then the very back hole on the frame rail that's round, we'll use that one as well. Now for our very forward most slotted hole, we'll use a square hole spacer block and a carriage bolt. And we'll drop it in from up top like that. For this oval hole next to our cross member, we'll use another square spacer, but this time we'll use one of our shorter hex head bolts. For our very back hole here, we'll use another hex head bolt and one of our flat washers. And we'll repeat the same process for our passenger side. Now because our frame is not level, we have this welded on section for our bumper beam and then these two rivets for our cross member. We need to put a couple spacers in between our frame and our hitch. We have this fender washer here, which will go right here towards the end. What I'm gonna do is take some silicone sealant, which we have on our website, stick it on the back side of it. So I'm sticking it on there so I don't have to worry about holding it in place when I raise the hitch into position. Now we have these thicker round hole spacer blocks. These will go in our other two locations. I'll do the same thing. Some silicone sealant on it. And we'll do the same for the other side. Okay, now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise the hitch up and secure it with our flange nuts. Okay, now we'll use a three quarter inch socket to tighten up our nuts. 
For the ones that we have bolts, we use a three quarter inch wrench on the top to hold the bolt still. And now we'll torque all of our fasteners to the amount specified in the instructions. Okay, now we can reinstall our canister. And that completes our look at and installation of the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 13053 on our 2003 Ford van.